This might get weird. Hello and welcome to another episode of This Might Get Weird based on last week's episode. Maybe it ended abruptly. We honestly don't know at this point. We haven't edited the podcast in half, but that's the first half. And now it's chapter two. Enjoy. Have you seen? Okay. So I was on Amazon trying to, I now realize that it's so late in the year and I need to start buying people of my family Christmas gifts. Oh, see, I'm just leaving the country tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a better way to do it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. For those of us that are going home for the holidays, uh, did you see that there's a Chris Pratt store on Amazon? Okay, well, we knew there was a, the, he who shall not be yeah. talked about. And I don't want to like. I don't know if we're this walking curse when we talk about these things, but oh, no. but I'm going to talk about it. I looked at the Chris Pratt store. How is it? Is he being serious? Is it? It's very serious and moody. It's literally. It's moody. I mean, it's him like talking about working out. It's 90 percent oh. workout gear. Um, okay, that makes sense. Like protein powders. The quote is being active is more than just about getting fit. The mental and emotional benefits go far beyond the physical. It's about setting a goal and showing up for yourself. And it's just like Ugh. him. It's like say him. something funny. I know it's all workout <laughs> shit and like protein powders and boxing gloves. And then there's just this like uh, curated tea set in the middle. Stop of it! it. <laughs> yeah, Turn like, your computer towards me so I can see it. This tea. It's like all of these workout oh. things and then Vadam tea. Okay. Yeah, and a sort of tea set. That's his like treat for working out. Is a nice oolong. I, I don't know, but it caught me off guard. And then I went and saw that uh, there's a Mariah Carey holiday shop. Well, that surprises it's no one. Absolutely surprises no one. But when I look through it. Is it all Brussels sprouts? No. <laughs> they are nowhere to be found. Call back. She can take them or leave them. Um, it's as if you and I curated this shop. Really? Yeah. Let me tell you some of the hits of the things that she's got in there, okay? Oh, Mariah. She's got a karaoke machine. Oh, okay. Great. Selfie ring light. Oh, yes. Vintage term table. Whoa. Temperature control smart mug. Stop it. Yeah. She's okay. got your thing, but it's an actual mug on top of a hot plate and the mug stays hot too. Okay. But that's what I have and I haven't figured out how to use it. And Chip is like, did you not like that gift? I thought it was a great gift. And I'm like, Chip, I'm saying it right here to, to all our <laughs> listeners. It is a great gift. You're just dating a grandma and I haven't well, figured it out yet. Ember, apparently. That is Ember. It's the same brand. Well, Mine is white. Hers is copper. Oh my, oh my oh. God. Me and Mariah. Me and Mariah should be friends. <laughs> right. And then she's got. Mariah. She's got a perfect drink smart scale, like a shaker that you can weigh like i guess if you want to weigh the ounces of like making like cocktails. a cocktail no yeah i bought that then she's got a giant pac-man classic two-in-one arcade game like full-on arcade game i owned Pac a galaga i know and then she's got at the bottom a giant giraffe stuffed animal <gasps> you have a giant I, giraffe i know I okay don't know. guys we need to be friends with mariah carey and then she's got a curated dog subscription box at the end of it i was like this is now as if they've heard our podcast. Bitch stole our look. <laughs> I know. What could Are we Are they possibly... listening to us and just curating it for you? Like, if someone <sighs> else logged into Mariah right. Carey's store, would they get the same things? Or would they get things that are more tailored towards them? I don't the know. government is listening. Targeted ads, targeted Amazon shops, maybe. Ch Chip and I were driving by a restaurant that used to be called home you know there's uh, two yes, locations yes, there's yes. a restaurant called home it's changed its name yeah they're one of their locations sold and it's something else we are driving past it and i said oh that used to be home uh i haven't looked at what the new menu is since it's a new thing we should check it out i'm not kidding F four minutes later i get a push notification from postmate saying you should try home restaurant <gasps> like literally Oh. There was no transparency. It wasn't even like going through Instagram and being like, oh, weird. They I mentioned that yesterday. Oh. Four minutes later, I got a push notification to try that restaurant. Well, I can't wait. That's for my, weird. I can't wait for my phone to light up with. Or do you think that they can figure out location if you have your location settings on that you just drove past oh. that restaurant? Either way, it's like, don't track me like a stalking boyfriend. Oh. Well, that's how I feel about Saucy, the liquor delivery service. Oh. I had to turn off their notifications because they were getting too fun they oh, send you no. like little notifications that are these like little quippy things and one of them was like uh grace asterisk doesn't drink soda because it's too much sugar <gasps> also grace asterisk only drinks vodka and i was Wait, like yeah i was like this i don't is, like this that was too close to home that's like that's negging you. It was, and that's all they do. And they're funny about it. They're, whoever runs that uh -oh. social media account, kudos to you because you catch my attention every time that I had to turn the notifications off. 
Uh oh. Yeah, a real, 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 a real time. <laughs> um, that's actually that's pretty creepy. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, okay, couple little random things. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, on the last podcast, I talked about like how big of a deal getting the goddamn ham was. Yes. Oh, and someone showed us that they went to the store. Oh, I don't know In, that. Uh, I put it on my story. They had been like, I'm driving through Cathedral City. This has to oh, be the honeymoon. And that is. Yeah. That is the Cathedral City uh, where they worship ham. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I, a couple of days ago, I think it was at the top of the week, I was like, oh, I'm going to get someone to come clean the house because it's gotten too gross. Yeah. I mean, of course, it started raining the next day and now there's mud everywhere at my house. But <laughs> I'm there and I'm like, I'm just going to be writing in the back where we podcast. Um, just text me when you're done. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Chip goes, hey, there should have been an Amazon delivery. And I go to the front and mm -hmm. so and he has sent me flowers because he does it like through oh. Whole Foods and it's so cute. And he sweet. gets me like, you know, as we remember, my condolences to your vagina yes. delivery. And it's so Modern sweet. Modern romance. Because I can like arrange them and I like making little. Yeah. I don't like just like one thing of flowers. Here you go. Hey, because I don't need more vases. Yeah, true. You know, and also it's like, OK, great. That was eight million dollars and mm -hmm. it's not even exactly what I want. So. <laughs> We so I'm like that's so sweet and he goes but there's also uh like a bag up there because I didn't realize I had stuff already in my cart from Whole Foods oh oh oh, oh. so like food items food items okay. like and I was like oh okay um so I go up there and I see and there's like peonies and hydrangeas and like all uh -huh. my faves and it's so sweet and then there's a bag with just a huge ham in it <laughs> <laughs> because I guess. <laughs> He was like ordering it for in, you. Well, in the course of like the day before Thanksgiving when we were running around. <laughs> in and the frenzied. In the frenzy of like a two and a half hour ham line. <laughs> he had been researching. I think I'm getting this right. He'd been researching and like for delivery on Amazon via Whole Foods since oh they own Whole Foods. God. Put a ham in his cart. Like as, a, <laughs> as an emergency ham. Yeah, you guys were like, I've never. <laughs> we were going ham. In crises situations, sometimes like your brain just wires in and dials into exactly what the solution should oh, be oh well i'll get to another <laughs> crisis in a minute but so i'm like oh there's a whole ham here <laughs> like a 10 pound ham and then we both know, do well, I know we both know we're like well we're not gonna i don't eat ham he doesn't yeah. want a whole ham like we're tired of eating and you're this about food. to go out of the country we're leaving the country he goes hey ask the housekeeper if she wants the ham <gasps> and i was like that's the strangest thing I've <laughs> ever heard. Like, I was like, but I don't want this ham to go to right. waste. You can't like drop a ham off at Goodwill. You no, know what I mean? No, no, no. I'm sure there's places I could, but guys, I was having a day. Yeah. So she's leaving and she's so sweet. And like, there's a little bit of a communication bar barrier. And so I'm like, oh, right. Can I, do you want check or whatever? We're mm -hmm. going. And I go, by the way, <laughs> odd question. Would you like a ham? <laughs> and she was like, what <laughs> and i had to explain like my boyfriend got me these flowers he ordered them online and now oh. there was a ham in his cart and now they delivered a ham we're leaving the country would you like this ham and she like peeks in at the ham and she's like okay i'll take the ham <laughs> so then normally she can forward. normally yeah. she can like care carry everything to the car by herself and i always <laughs> offer to help her and she's like i got it and i was like i'll follow you with the ham <laughs> wow i mean so I, I wish I wish I should have been like I know this is presumptuous but I got you a Christmas gift yeah, I was gonna say it here's a ham like this is an end of the year like and now uh what if she expects it every time she comes back oh now? fuck <laughs> oh what have I done well, what the, have I done um well the speaking of delivery stuff did you see this video of the Amazon delivery guy seeing that uh they yes. put candy out can I just play like 10 seconds of yeah, his like do it it I listened to it for the first time this morning. It gave me such joy. It's basically an Amazon delivery guy that's caught on a ring light in front of a house, dropping off a package, and they've set out some snacks for the delivery they guys. They say, like, thanks this, for working so hard. Take a snack. Yeah, because the season is so stressful for delivery people here. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Oh, they got some goodies. They got some goodies. Wow. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is sweet. <laughs> and then, this is so nice. 
And then he leaves and does a little dance. dance. He dances away. I love him. Why isn't he my Amazon guy? Because mine just get out and just throw something that says fragile. Yeah, mine does that too. And I I need to leave snacks. I I mean, I guess that's the I wanted to talk about it because I think you guys, you know, if any of you have the opportunity to leave a little something nice out for the delivery guys, I forget that this season is nuts for them. I'm in my own brain thinking about like what I haven't organized and they're out there making it all happen for us. I mean, to be fair... In this day and age where everyone online shops, yeah. they're kind of Santa. They're literally Santa. They're delivering <laughs> yeah. all of the gifts. All of it. And also, I had a friend who was um, a male woman in Queens. I think I say male order bride. She was, <laughs> I was like, go oh, on. That's a different story we'll get to. <laughs> that's a different friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, she was a, a worked for the regular mail service and was mm-hmm. a male woman in Queens. And I forgot when I would see her that like... When I hated walking in the snow to oh. the subway, she's like, "Every day, all I do is that with no door on my right. fucking car, exactly, and with dogs who hate you, yeah, and, and like so everything's against you, especially in the bad weather. Like, you guys, give it up, give, give it, it up, up for de- <laughs> for the delivery service people. They're really doing the Lord's work for us. I just was like, it brought a little warm tingle to my heart this morning uh, and something I think we kind of overlook very frequently, especially this season that maybe keep it in the back of your minds. They're doing some good stuff for us. Today, This Might Get Weird is supported by Noom. Guys, it's the end of the year, so we're all in that panic mode of making resolutions for 2020 because, of course, we're going to be our best selves in 2020. One of the biggest resolutions we all make is feeling better in our bodies, getting into a healthier lifestyle, and that's where Noom is here to help because getting in shape isn't just about losing weight. It's about learning healthier habits, feeling better about yourself, whether it's more stamina to keep up with your busy life, getting into some gold jeans, being more in tune with your body's needs, or just generally practicing more self care. Now listen, Noom is a habit changing solution that helps users learn to develop a new relationship with food through personalized courses. It's based in psychology so Noom teaches you why you do the things you do and arms you with tools to break the bad habits and replace them with better ones. It's based on cognitive behavioral approach. It just, you know, it works. It's not a diet. It's a healthy and easy to stick to way of life because they think no food is good or bad or off limits. It teaches moderation and can be used in conjunction with many pre-existing popular diets if you want. And look, uh, we're all strapped for time. Noom just asks for you to commit 10 minutes a day for yourself. You're human. If you go off track, there's no shaming. Just tips to help you get back on track tomorrow. And you can chat with your goal specialists and the Noom community to get and give to people uh, help that are going through the same things that you are. It's very community-based. And you guys, they've sponsored a couple episodes of This Might Get Weird. And you guys have tweeted at Mae Marie and I telling us how this Uh, system has totally changed your life that you started using it this year and you've had success stories so kudos to you guys and for those of you looking for something to jumpstart 2020 get into noom you don't have to change it all in one day small steps make big progress sign up for your trial today at noom n-o-o-m dot com slash weird what do you have to lose visit noom.com slash weird to start your trial today that's noom.com slash weird the last weight loss program that you'll need I got a not tingly feeling, but <laughs> a full drop of adrenaline Uh-oh. yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's we're recording this on a Monday morning. Yeah. I am leaving tomorrow night for for Bali. Right, and you're leaving for like twenty days. Yeah, yeah. I'm going for like a full three weeks to Bali in Japan, and I'm so excited. Uh, but so you know, it's always so difficult when you have a red eye essentially uh, yeah. that's around midnight because it's like wait are they saying it's on wednesday or is right. it on tuesday or is it on like yeah. when is it right mm-hmm. so we're leaving tuesday late but i didn't know that chip and i both thought we were leaving on different days <gasps> right so yesterday we're talking and i'm saying the next two days are going to be crazy like i still got to mm-hmm. pack i have this shoot for two days and um I go, so uh, tomorrow's rehearsal, and then Tuesday, I'm going to be shooting probably like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then um, I'm going straight from there to meet you at the airport. And he gives me this look, and he goes, Tuesday? (gasps) And I go, yeah. And he goes, you've made a huge mistake. What? And I go, wait, what? So, okay, long story short, (laughs) I'm getting anxiety. I start immediately crying. Yeah. (laughs) 
that's the only natural response immediately crying because i'm like huh Wait, what no we leave tuesday night he goes no we leave monday at midnight which is tuesday and i'm like oh wait oh my god what i mean we're talking about like that's not a small replanet that's no. flying to a fucking different hemisphere while you have a full shoot day that people are relying which on you i for. arranged getting this job by saying okay oh as long as we can do it on these two days oh, no. right and so i am losing it and then he gets on the computer and like this is five minutes of me like oh. i've already googled like one way to bali on the 20th you know yeah, like I'll, am i gonna have to meet him there when we were supposed to sit beside each other or whatever the new ham gate <laughs> and he goes oh you were right oh. and i was like my well, first God. of all, I'm so glad I was right. Yeah. But I, he was like, yeah, I mean, I guess I got it wrong, whatever. But I was like, Chip Morgan, <laughs> you looked at me like Darth fucking Vader and said, you've made a huge <laughs> mistake. For anyone, and truly, that sounds like I'm about to die. For anyone <laughs> that has even the slightest like paranoia and emotional yes. response to doing something wrong. Yes that's the worst possible thing you can say to someone i mean i like simultaneously <laughs> shit was constipated everything dropped i mean i felt like i was standing on the edge of a plane about to skydive oh my god so for that five is... minutes i thought that i had fucked up our entire oh. trip and of course he's like we would have figured it out that's fixable but i'm like yeah but but, but. The, the presentation of the potential mistake was so enormously heavy it was so heavy and it's also like i am becoming my mother and making yeah. like small mistakes oh. and like flightiness Missing, you know what i mean yeah details. and i was like that felt like the ultimate oh. i was so scared so so much to for the last you know 12 hours i've just anything that's wrong i look at chip and oh. go you've made a huge <laughs> mistake can, can we talk about what happened during the live stream yesterday Oh. <laughs> or we can skip over it it's no long story short i got up in the morning used the bathroom realized there wasn't toilet paper so i went to the other bathroom but i didn't put refill the toilet paper in the other one so we're having a live stream and i didn't know chip had texted me and been like hey way to not restock the toilet paper i'm stuck on the toilet <laughs> because we're talking to patreon <laughs> patrons and we're not paying attention to our phones I don't and then see we just it. hear this banging banging <laughs> on the side of the house where I go, oh man, was it must be a delivery guy for my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. What was that huge banging noise? And then I get a call and Chip is like, I'm stuck. I've been stuck on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I truly was like, oh, who's trying to break in? There's an angry girlfriend next door. No, it's Chip in the back bathroom being like, Help! like Jesus like, Christ, right. <laughs> give me the fucking toilet paper. You're talking to 12 um, people on the internet. So I was like, oh God, wait. So I didn't restock the toilet paper <laughs> and I fucked up our whole flight plan. <laughs> You've what made a, a huge mistake. Oh, Where's yeah. the toilet paper? I had a great oh my day. God. Today's episode of This Might Get Weird is also brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Look, 2020, it's coming up. It's time to make ourselves bigger, better, bolder, uncut. Not the last one. There's so many filthy jokes that could be made about the last one. Let's move forward. Skillshare is a place where you can take classes in everything from photography and creative writing to design, productivity, and more. Wait a minute, you can take a class in productivity? Okay, sorry, now I'm reading this just for me and you get to hear me talk about something cool that I'm very interested in now. So whether you're returning to a longtime passion project, challenging yourself to get outside of your comfort zone, or simply exploring something new, Skillshare has classes for you. I'm freaking pumped on this right now, you guys. I am going to do this and I'm very excited about it. You guys can join the millions, I can now join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for you guys. You get two free months. I get two free months. That's right, Skillshare is offering This Might Get Weird listeners two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. To sign up, go to Skillshare.com slash TMGW. Again, go to Skillshare.com slash TMGW to start your two free months now. That's Skillshare.com slash TMGW. I gotta go. I have two free months to sign up for. Ooh, I'm excited. I did, before we did our live stream yesterday, I uh -huh. went to Target. Oh, yeah. Because I needed to, uh, you know, get some things. But mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things. I'll, I'll tell you some of the characters I ran across. Oh, yes, yes. But first of all, is there anything better than, like, coming home to having a slew of brand new panties? 
Oh, that's what I got. I do. bought like 15 pairs of panties that's and smart. I feel like a new woman. I got to do that and socks. That's the one thing. Yeah. Well, I've decided because I used to do cute socks and like mm. Forever 21, rest in peace. Mm. Um, Like cute ones because I'd be like, oh, and then I can match them and it'll be sweet. I'm like, no, you know just what? I'm officially a person who's just buying the same type of yeah. sock. <laughs> yeah. So that they can all mix and match and still match. A hundred percent. But I bought a bunch of panties and it felt so good, good because for you. mine had become just like wearable cobwebs yeah <laughs> mine, are, mine are like <laughs> offensive to elliot like yeah it's yeah. like i really don't are you care not about trying you at all <laughs> yeah. um. like do you want to break up with me <laughs> like what is going on <laughs> no i hate my underwear so much that i just don't even wear them oh, i'm like well, i'd rather go. just go commando than put that trash <laughs> <laughs> near my crack on <laughs> my body but anyway i'm in the underwear aisle picking out stuff and then i just hear a woman's voice go i can put my head in that 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 and i look over and it's two girlfriends and one of them is just holding up humongous bras and seeing if her head would fit in them and then she makes that contact with me and she goes sorry and i go this is this is great this is, i mean i can put my head in that i can put my head in that i can put my head in that i was like that is so funny i mean everyone tests bras in different ways uh so then oh. i load up my cart i go to the front to check out i'm like next in line to check out mm -hmm. and this <laughs> this old woman with like full glam makeup at oh. 9 15 in the morning and black hair and a rolly suitcase yes walks up and she has this like thick Eastern European accent and she just goes, excuse me. And she goes, do you have flip flops for men? <laughs> to you? No, to the oh. like the register lady. <laughs> and the register is like trying to check, check this yeah. woman out. She's like, um, I think so probably in the shoes. And she goes, no, specifically funny flip flops. Do you have funny <laughs> flip flops for men? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she meant slippers and like, you know, right. slippers that look like minions or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just so funny for her to like wow. need funny flip flops in December. Yeah. That were for men. Yeah. And then she I'm like, where what airport are you off to, ma'am? Truly. <laughs> like what on? what rolly suitcase are you fill in with <laughs> funny flip flops to take to a different country and sell for more money? Also, what do you think is funny? I would like to know. Thank you. <laughs> Do they make a weird noise every time you step? Yeah. Is I, it just Olaf's eyebrows or oh. the straps? Did you see that online people, it cited that Olaf is technically five feet, four inches tall? I saw that, which means that the princesses are like eight feet tall or They're something? They're like 11 feet two or something. I like that. Now I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I was previously not in. Now I'm in. Now I'm super in. But I was finishing. So finally, Flip Flops Lady leaves. Mm-hmm. And then I get up there and the woman's like, do you have any online coupons? And I was like, no, like I'm just trying to get back here yeah. so we can live stream. So she has her phone open to online coupons. So oh. she checked every single item and I had like 500 items. She checked is... every item on her phone to see if it matched the price that she put in. It was so thoughtful, but I really wanted to be like, don't even worry about it. Like, yeah, the, like the sale items. Right. No, she did it. But I let her do it because she got let's say the first five were sale items only by like 30 cents sure every single time she went woo it's on sale <laughs> she rick flair she wooed. rick flair woo it's on sale <laughs> woo that saved you 60 cents woo and i was like well now i live here this now you're my favorite person uh, like there was nothing in her job description that said she had to go out of her way and amazing. spend twice as much time helping you i mean i think i saved two dollars and 80 cents but she had and a it great took an time. extra 10 minutes but she cheered oh. every time something was on sale and See, i was like that's the spirit i wish that happened uh two weeks ago elliot and i went to target to mm -hmm. do like we're gonna do cute couple christmas shopping cute. and as we're driving to target i get we we're talking about superstitions i'm oddly superstitious and this black cat ran across Wait, right in front you're of our that's, car you're black cat superstitious and i, I hate it because i'm like i fundamentally know that this is stupid but there's still a little itch in the back of my brain that goes oh i wish that cat didn't do that anyway <laughs> so <laughs> you so, sound like a child uh, yeah no, <laughs> hold on like whoever dennis the menace is like the yeah the, the neighbor the neighbor is like oh Ugh. i wish that cat wouldn't do that i'll get him next time shake your fist um so i was like and then we started talking about like superstitions i was like i hate that i'm like weirdly superstitious about that like in a tiny mouth and then we get to target and as we're walking in elliot starts going because it's super crowded it was like um you know like a wednesday night like everyone's off of work so everyone's like getting in there and as we're walking in, he's like oh 
I think I don't like shopping. Like this will be fun. He but I think had that realization yeah, as, it, at as that we're moment. walking in. And then we get a bunch of like groceries and some Christmas ornaments. And then we get in two separate lines because he was buying whiskey. And so you have to, I did self-checkout. Oh, and right. So you, you can't have, have alcohol and self-checkout. Right. So he gets in line. Oh my God. It. He was in line behind one woman that had a little baby in her cart. And she, it took him 35 minutes to no. get through because this woman had. Why didn't he switch lines? Because people had got in behind him and there was Ugh. only one cashier everything else was self-checkout and i bet so she had my checkout lady he yeah but no this woman the checkout woman clearly was in no rush like right. at first there was no one in line well so she's, i feel like if you work at target during the holidays uh, you gotta you, well you either rush or you probably knowing me i would assume like a zen like state oh, where i'm just like i'm getting paid the same and you know what i'm not gonna be stressed fuck them exactly but she's She's literally putting pillows into this woman's cart, playing with the baby while doing it. Then Uh the woman is looking up uh, coupons online. Then the woman starts to pay and she has five gift cards and none of them have been scratched on the back and her credit card doesn't work. She, this mom is in, this is like, she could give a shit about taking up everyone's time. Everyone in the back line, I'm sitting there like standing, just waiting for Elliot. (sighs) Everyone in the back line, this manager, this frenzied manager comes over and he's like, I can take you over here. And the woman behind Elliot's like, whatever is faster. And then (laughs) Elliot, then this other woman, this like middle-aged woman that's completely out of it, just gets in front of Elliot in line, holding a random pair of shoes. And he's texting me being like, this woman just, just cut. got in front of me and I don't know what to do right now. And so she gets up and like the she's asking for a price check on these shoes and mm-hmm. she doesn't know what's going on. And then she finally like leaves and Elliot's like, he, he told me that he whispered to the cashier, have you guys had any suicides in here lately? Stop <laughs> it. And then all of a sudden this cashier was like, here we go. And like was the fastest, most efficient checkout oh. person ever. And I was like, this is Insane. That's a scary thing like, to hear from a guy who's just buying a bottle of whiskey. I know. <laughs> and then it's like, I was like, that black cat really did some bad business oh to my you. God. Then we go home, we order Postmates. It takes like over an hour for Postmates to show up. They show up and inside. It's a ham. It was literally a full fish. Just head, <laughs> eyes, everything. <laughs> just grilled giant like flounder. That's what you want to order <laughs> delivery. Because Elliot comes back from getting delivery and it's just one bag and I was like that's only one thing and he opens it and he's like oh my god that is the last thing I thought I was like that black cat has fucked us for the whole night you know what you should have looked at that black cat no that black cat ran by you and just <laughs> mouthed in cat you've made a huge yeah. mistake exactly uh, you guys uh, well wow. okay Next week, y'all mm-hmm. are going to have a very special Christmas episode where yes. we took your questions off of Twitter mm-hmm. about the holidays. Yes. Um, it's a, a fun little ditty. And then on New Year's, we're taking, the day off. we're taking the day off, y'all. You're going to be hungover. We're going to be hungover. We all deserve a day off. So That's true. I'm also going to be flying back that day. Yeah. So, so yeah. we've got uh, the next couple weeks are going to be a little different, but hopefully fun and that means Grace and I will not have seen each other for three weeks. Three weeks. So by the time, and no, by the time we actually start podcasting, yeah. it'll we'll have so much goddamn material. I feel like we should get one of those huge white erase boards right, to, keep, to keep up and like to like keep track of everything to erase them like people do yeah, yeah, yeah. on like sports center to like just show the plays yeah 100%. of what we uh haven't covered because we're gonna have a lot to talk about oh i cannot but, um, wait also make sure if you guys haven't already give yourself the gift of uh signing up for our patreon yeah patreon.com slash this might get weird there's lots of tears there's lots of fun stuff lots like, of fun friends over there very fun friends if you want some friends that aren't monica joey chandler with phoebe <laughs> <Lisa> Ross, Rachel, <laughs> uh, uh, go over to Patreon. Also, it's a great thing that if you're you kind of want and your parents or people who mm-hmm. don't know how to shop for you are like, yeah. what do you want? Just tell them. Be like, sign me up for a year for this. That's a great idea. Don't get me some more take shit I don't want. Yeah. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is really fun. And we'll see you guys in 2020. This got weird. It got weird. This might get weird. <laughs>